virginity. Some synonyms are virtue, honor, pureness, innocence, decency, and dignity. And the opposite, it will be disgrace, evil, immoral. So according to this, if we don't want to be disgraced, evil, or immoral, should we be virgins all our life? Goodbye to the human race, right? The concept of virgin refers to that which maintains purity or the person who has not yet had sexual relationships. So then, what is a sexual relation? Sexual intercourse, coitus, is the first option, but thank God, not God, but whatever. There is also a second one, which is the right one. It would be any sexual activity between individuals with the aim of giving or receiving sexual pleasure. Sexual activities can include many practices, sexual caresses, oral sex, anal sex, intercourse. And if we realize here, it does not discriminate between men and women. So why are virginity tests always done on women? Why if a woman has not had sexual relations at a certain age, part of society calls them fruit and the other half insists to keep it? She needs to wait for the right one. And meanwhile, the man as soon as possible, the better, to be a man. They even make bets between themselves, some of them of course not all, to see how many girls they can get for the first intercourse. And this situation for men creates an imposition sometimes to have sex, assuming also the heterosexuality. A virginity test, which is done only on women, is a technique to determine if a woman is virgin, which means that she has never had sex. The test consists of an inspection of the hymen, assuming that it can only be broken as a result of an intercourse. But haven't we said before that sexual interaction is more than vaginal penetration? Virginity tests are also sexist normalize that men can have relationships out of marriage. For them, it's acceptable, but not for women. In addition to the criticism that this would generate for her and for the family. Some of the virginity tests are measuring the vaginal entrance by inserting fingers. Some trips of Africa, in addition of it, they make a suture on the girl's outer lips. Crazy. And the handkerchief, whatever, test is maintained in some gypsy communities in Europe, Spain, Portugal, France. And to be honest, I have read a lot of virginity tests that I don't want to explain now. Virginity is not a medical, scientific or demonstrable concept. It is a social construction of sexual control of people, women especially, although as I said before, it also affects men. Sweethearts, I want to clarify two things with this video. First, the hymen. It is a membrane that people who are born with a vagina and a half and it is in the vaginal opening. It can be very different in each one, thin and elastic, thick and rigid, or a mix. They might be not hymen at all. So this kind of evidence and belief does not make any sense. I'll leave you a video in which I tell a little more about the hymen, just in case you're interested. Second, what about losing your virginity or the first time? It is yet another social construct based on coitocentrism, in out, in out. And the truth, having all the knowledge that I have now, that's why I'm here to share it, they have nothing to do with it. I think losing virginity, if we need to use that word, would have more meaning talking about losing innocence at the moment when we start to feel interest in sexual and erotic pleasure. Because pleasure as such, we have it since we were born. It makes more sense to me when being a virgin speak out of innocence or even when we are our very self without being polished and manipulated by social beliefs. In the world, virgin means all the good things that I said before. But why then, in the same system, in the same world and society, when a person says that they are still a virgin on an age that it doesn't supposed to be, it creates laughter, prejudice, or even discrimination. All these words are adjectives created by us and it is up to us to change the meaning if we want to. That is why we need real sexual education and stop myths and social beliefs that in the end only lead us towards situation and start from when we are little, not already when we are teenagers. So to lose virginity, which does not mean to have your first sexual interaction, I advise you to start discovering yourself, touching, but yes, also looking at you. It's your body, there is nothing wrong with it. And also I would say it's necessary. Did you know we have two bodies, the physical and the one that our brains 
visualize. The more you know an area, the better vision you will have of that area, and therefore, more knowledge, sensitivity, pleasure. Investigate what you like when you masturbate, what you don't, what you imagine, what you fantasize that you would like to do or not. And from there, when you have the option to have any relationship you want with another person, you will already have at least a base of yourself. And with self-discovery, it is also important to know the pros and cons of starting a sexual adult lifestyle. We should know some of the possible consequences of sex as pregnancy, some STD, but the most important is not to see any of this from fear because it's something natural on us and it's normal to have curiosity. It is something that is part of us and if we want to know more, there are people who have no interest, we have the right to know about it. We are sexual beings and both pleasure and reproduction are based on this. We need to know what we need and no, porn doesn't count. And that's it. I leave you the videos that I have made with this one. They are about the first time, myths and belief and another one more specific about the hymen. In case you're interested, much love to you all.